Hello everyone, I'm Andy Sirich with Altera Software, and I'm here today with another Altera VM Backup educational video. Now, unlike some of our other videos that are more feature-centric, this video series really focuses on certain situations. In this video today, we're going to focus on all things restore and recovery. Uh, we're going to cover things like full virtual machine recoveries. We're going to talk about file level restores and exchange item level restores. And this video really assumes that you, you have the product installed, you've got your hosts added and licensed, you've got backup locations configured, uh, you're doing schedules and retention policies, and you've been taking backups for a while. Essentially, it assumes that your house is in order and you've got some backups to choose from when you're doing restores. So let's, uh, let's take a look at my lab here and I will walk you through how to do a full VM recovery first. So in the Altero VM Backup Management Console, you're gonna to wanna to click Restore in the left-hand pane. And uh, really it's a nice, easy uh, menu-driven wizard here. And step one is to choose, you know, which location do you wanna recover from? You know, you're gonna select the backup storage that you wanna pull that virtual machine from. So you can see in my lab here that I've got uh, two local backup locations, uh, you know, denoted by the, the little hard drive icon. And then I've got one off-site backup location that is a virtual machine running inside of Microsoft Azure. Now, um, for full virtual machine restores, you have the option of pulling directly from an off-site location, whereas in the file level restore, you're not given that option because we assume that if you just have to recover a specific file, you are not in a DR type of situation that would necessitate you know, a full virtual machine recovery. Now, I'm gonna select one of my local backup locations and I'm gonna click next to advance the wizard. Next, I have to actually choose a virtual machine that I want to recover. So let's assume that you know a user came to me and said, "Hey, I've got uh, an application that I can't access, and uh, you know, Mr. or Mrs. Administrator, can you please take a look and uh, see why it's offline?" So you go over to the server and you take a look at it and you figure out that hey, this thing's offline and it's not going to come back easy. I need to recover it from backup. So let's say just for for argument's sake and an example's sake that you determine that this is the server that you need to recover. So we'll select that and we'll click next. Now I need to tell Altero VM Backup where and how to restore that VM. So the first thing I need to do is I need to select a date to go back to. So, um, you know, we'll say, let's just go back to the third. Well, we'll pick that one. The next thing I need to do is I need to give the virtual machine a name. So when it's recovered into my hypervisor, it will have this name that we define here. By default, we'll just grab the name of the virtual machine and we'll append clone with a date and timestamp at the end of the, of the backup that it's from. You can change this to whatever you want, but uh, for the sakes of this example, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Then we need to pick a host to restore it to. Now. If it's a VM or VM, you can recover it to any VM or host. And the same for Hyper-V. If it's a Hyper-V VM, you can, uh, you can recover to any Hyper-V host. You can't do cross hypervisor restores currently with our product. So once you select the host you want to recover it to, you then have to select the data store or the storage location where you want to actually place the uh, recovered VM. So I'll select that. And then finally, I can choose whether or not to leave the network card in the virtual machine in a disabled state or not. Now, if the machine is really offline and it's not coming back and you're truly doing a recovery, you're gonna wanna uncheck this. Um, but if the production machine is still online and you're doing the recovery for some other reason, you probably wanna leave this checked to avoid any IP conflicts. Once I'm happy with all my settings here, I'm gonna click restore. And I can either click go to the dashboard or I can click this pop-up button and it'll take me back to the Altera VM backup dashboard where I can watch this job in progress. So we're gonna let that job run and we're gonna go and we're gonna do a file level restore. Now, let's assume, you know, I'm doing this restore and another user comes to me and says, hey, you know, I deleted this really important file I need you to, to recover it for me. The last time I saw it was a couple of days ago. You know, can you please help me? I say, sure, yeah, I can do that. Uh, go to file level restore. And you're gonna find that the wizard is very similar up until about step four. Really the only differentiation is steps four and five. So let's just step through this wizard. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the backup source that I wanna pull the file from. I'm gonna click next. 
And again, I'm gonna choose a specific virtual machine that I want to pull the backup from. I'm gonna click next. And again, just like the full virtual machine restore wizard, it's going to go through, it's gonna parse all the backups for this particular virtual machine. And I get to choose which version do I wanna go back to. So the user said a couple of days, I'm gonna go back to the second, I'm gonna click next. Now I get this, this very, uh, this very useful file and folder view that you're used to seeing with most backup applications. You know, I'm gonna select a hard disk that's associated with the virtual machine. And then in a second here, I'm gonna select the partition. And now I get that tree view that I'm used to seeing. So I know that the file is down here in shares. I'm gonna expand this out. And uh, let's, just, let's just, for example's sake, assume that uh, this user needed a particular print driver file. You know, just as an example, that's probably not, you know, a real world scenario, but we'll, we'll use that for this example. So I select my file, I click next. Now I'm given an option. I can either extract it to a local directory on the machine running Altera VM backup, or I can extract that to a network location. For this example, I'm just going to leave it at the local directory and I'm going to hit extract and I can monitor the extraction process right on the screen out to completion. Now, the last thing that we need to cover is exchange item level restore. So we're all done getting this file. That's a virtual machine, full VM restore is still on its way. What does it look like to actually recover a specific item from an exchange database? In order to do that, I need to go to exchange item level restore. We're done with that extraction process, so I can click discard there. Now, on the exchange item level restore, again, very similar process to what we've seen so far in this video. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my recovery source. I'm gonna click next. Now I need to select the virtual machine that contains the exchange database file where this particular user needs their uh, their piece of mail, their, their contact, their calendar, or whatever recovered from. Now, if you have a slightly larger exchange environment, you might have multiple exchange database servers. So you might have uh, different servers here that contain different databases. So you first need to determine which mail database is this particular user associated with. And you can, you can do that from the exchange management tools. So in my particular case here, I know I have an exchange database out on this file server. So I'm gonna click next. And kind of the same thing in a second, it's going to tell me, hey, you need to pick a, uh, a backup version to pull this exchange item from. I'm just gonna go with the latest backup and click next. Now, kind of the same as the file level restore, I actually get to browse out to the file. So I know that the exchange database is on hard disk too, so I'm gonna select that. It's gonna open the virtual disk and I will navigate out to where this particular exchange database is. So I know it's in this Altero related folder and here's my EDB file. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna click next. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna start looking at that, that exchange database. They're gonna parse all the different pieces of mail, all the different objects in there. Depending on the size of the database, this might take a couple of minutes. This is a fairly small database, uh, just a gig or two. So it's not very large, so this shouldn't take too long. And as soon as it's finished loading these mailboxes, I can do things like uh, select specific objects. I can look at all the different uh, mailboxes and I can start pulling things out of it. So uh, the, the mailboxes have loaded here. It's still loading some of the data, but I, it's at least loaded enough for me to start taking a look through. So we'll go down here. Let's say I wanna pull something from this test two mailbox. If I expand that out, let me shrink this down so I get a little bit more room here. Now I can see all the different folders that are associated with this mailbox. So I can see I have quite a few uh, quite a few items here in this inbox. I come in here and I see all these different pieces of mail. Now I can select anything here that I want to recover. I can even preview specific pieces of mail, you know? So uh, this isn't a very complex email, but you know, you can see, you know, who it's from, who it's to, the date sent and the contents of the email. Once I know which emails that I want to select, I select them, I click next, and now I'm given the option of defining a location where I wanna create a PST file. And what the application will do is it will create a PST file containing these objects and then you as the administrator can give that PST file to the user that needs it. They attach it to Outlook and away they go. 
So that's it for our, our video today on doing various restores. We covered full VM restores. We covered file level and exchange item level restores. Uh, if you're interested in other educational content, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. And if you're interested in more information on our product itself, feel free to check out our website at www.altero.com. Thanks for watching.